I've been very fortunate to play in a lot of great American rock bands. One of the great things about being a rock guitarist are the toys that we get to play with. That's why it's especially cool for me to be able to share this experience with a fellow musician who has the same love and passion for guitars and music that I do. Robert Disney is an active duty pararescueman in the United States Air Force. He is also a wounded warrior who has survived a multitude of near-death experiences while serving, a gunshot wound to the head and multiple helicopter crashes to name a couple. I have a reputation in my community now after having done this special operations job for the last 17 years of being kind of a accident magnet, something waiting to happen. We've invited Robert here to the PRS Guitar Factory. He thinks he's just here to take a tour, but really he's going to walk out of here with a brand new custom built PRS guitar. Hi, I'm Troy McLawhorn and this is My American Act. Yeah! At this point, Beverly is telling Robert some phony reason that I can't personally take him on the tour myself. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah, it's very nice to meet you too. You're here to do a tour with Troy? Yes, that's great. Yeah. Um, Paul, unfortunately, has taken him away. They're in an office behind locked doors doing some guitar stuff. But I have Rich Hannon here who's going to help you. Rich, nice to meet you. Your yeah. name? Rob Disney. Rob Disney, very yeah. nice to meet you, sir. I know you drove a long way to come here to do this with Troy, and yeah, I'm really sorry. sorry. I slept in the car. I slept in the truck in the parking lot. <laughs> we'll catch up with him after a while. Two hour nap out there. Oh my goodness. Started. Sure. So. All right. Y'all signed in. See good? Fine. Enjoy your tour. All right. Thank you very much. Break this way. All right. Let's go. All right. Sounds good, man. We're planning to have Rich bring Robert to us so he can catch the end of what he thinks is an actual interview that I'm doing with Paul to promote a new line of PRS guitars. He's going to be so excited. I, I can't wait to see the look on his face because I know he's a big PRS fan and uh, we spent a lot of time on this working for him so it's going to be great. You know we really want to build this guitar, design a guitar and come up with a way, you know, a good design of a way of saying thank you for his service in the military. I think that sounds great. Should we go and draw it up? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. So usually it takes two, three months, sometimes more, to do a custom guitar. So this time frame is three weeks. In the design process, about three or four people did the original mock-up uh, between Mark Quigley in our art department and then Bill Ortel in our engineering department. They did all the drawings, mock-ups for the inlays. Uh, we received the images. Um, from the military branch of the exact uh, inlay that we were going to do to represent his division. Folks at PRS were so great throughout this whole thing. The whole design process was really cool. I got to see how much these folks here got behind this thing from the very beginning and how they really put their heart and soul into this. Being a part of this truly makes me proud of our servicemen and women around the world. And it's been a real treat for me being able to join with Paul Reed Smith Guitars in bringing honor to them. Hey Rob, how you doing, man? This is Paul Reed Smith, man. This is Robert Disney. Hey Robert, how are you? It's great to meet you, sir. Nice to meet yeah, you. Sure, sure, appreciate it. Just got a great tour of the shop. Awesome, really? man. I'm doing sorry great. I couldn't make it to the tour. We were doing some interviews. Well, you you got to be wondering kind of what's going on here, you know, and um, you know, we invited you here not just to have a tour of the factory, and um, I'm not really here just discussing a signature line of guitars. Um, we're actually filming a TV show, okay. and um, it's called American Axe. And what that is is it's where we um, we go out and we look for an American hero like yourself, and we try to find a way to say thank you for your service, for everything you've done for your country and your family. So, what we've all been working on is this guitar for you. It's a PJ inspired, Paul Reed Smith design, custom 22 guitar. Come check it out, man. It's a beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh my god, you guys are kidding. Your wife's probably better looking than that guitar. <laughs> the most beautiful guitar I've ever seen. And I stood there in absolute amazement at what I had seen. And 
just took it all in, tried to take the whole experience in. Now this is unbelievable. It's got uh, the green feet, pararescue green feet and the lightning bolt for uh, pararescue and combat control for our special tactics teams. Yeah. And it has the an inlaid guardian angel. We've put your slogan right here, oh God, that others may live, that. in a ghost kind of print. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. And then he said, I've got another surprise for you. I don't even know what to say. I am completely shocked. This has been kept a total secret from me, and I am, I am beside myself with uh, true gratitude and appreciation for what you guys have done. This is an incredible piece. It's beautiful, and I will keep this probably behind glass for the rest of my life, but I promise you I'm going to get some playtime on it. Well, we're going to do that in a minute, but before we do that, I've got one more surprise for you. Sure. And he said, you can come on in now. And the door opened and it was my wife. Why don't you keep this a secret from me? Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's been in South Georgia for the last three months. I haven't seen her since before I left for Mount Everest at the end of March because she's been in South Georgia taking care of her father who has cancer. So I didn't expect my wife to be behind that door. There's a lot of people I expected could have been there, but not my wife. Have you been hiding back there this whole time? Yeah. I can't believe you. Oh my God, thank you so much. Can you believe, you believe this thing? <laughs> thank you guys. And then uh, Troy said, So Rob, I've got one more surprise for you. I've got someone who wants to say hello. It's right here up on, on Skype got to be kidding me. You planned this. This, this is all you, isn't it? <laughs> Ray was a big part in this whole process. He helped me and, and the team here at PRS design the guitar. He came up with the color scheme for the beret. Um, we used maroon, you know, and the, he gave us all the graphics so we could do the inlay on the fretboard and the um, graphic design here. I mean, he's been in it from pretty much the beginning. How about you play a tune on that guitar for your good old buddy in Japan? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to, aren't I? Let's do it, man. These opportunities don't come very often. It's hard to tie the private sector to the military in, a, in, in, in that kind of way. So this is a real opportunity for us to say thank you. I mean, you know, it's, it's extraordinary, actually. I think that we're paying attention to these people that have given so much is really important. So that's it for this week. Join us next week when we surprise another American hero with their very own American acts. Behind every American acts, there's an American story. Tell us your story at myamericanacts.com.